Hello everyone, my name is Roya and I am coming to you today with the uh, book goals that I had last year and if I, you know, how I did on them as well as my new book goals for the coming year. My first goal of the year uh, is the same one that it's always been, 120 books a year read. So I definitely did not meet that. I only read 80 books in the year, which is really low for me, super, super low, but that's really okay. Um, it's really not a big deal. I read great books this year. Um, I DNF'd ones that I was not enjoying. Um, I, I read plenty of big books, small books, everything in between. It was great. I lived in a hotel for a quarter of the year, so I really didn't do much reading then. So yeah, it's pretty obvious that I was hella behind and it's not a big deal, but I'm sad about it, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so then my other goal, um, another big goal of mine was to spend under a hundred dollars on books. So, and I did count ebooks, um, which I didn't do in previous years, um, as well. So I did end up losing track after about the half year point, um, because I, in July, I did have a home repair where I did end up having to live in a hotel and I lost track of pretty much everything. Um, so, uh, at the halfway point of the year, I had only spent 105 books on, uh, I mean, $105 on books, which is really not that bad. But um, yeah, so the second half of the year, since I had already reached that $100 threshold that I wanted to stay below, um, I really did not buy too many books at all. Um, but a couple of times since I was living in a hotel and I was really sad, and uh, when we did get to a rental house, the rental house was right next to one of the two bookstores in town, and that was really awesome. So I did end up buying books a couple of times, and so since I did completely lose track um, of the books that I um, that I got and everything like I lost track of how much they were but it was certainly under 150 still which still puts me well below uh, the 230 something that I spent last in um, 2020 and also I didn't count ebooks in 2020 and I did count ebooks this year so that's still you know that's still pretty low I'm pretty happy with that Another goal of mine was to read all 32 of the books that I read, it, that I got in 2020 that were still unread. Um, I did not quite meet that goal. I still have 12 of them left, but I, I think all things considering, I did pretty well with that. Another goal was to raise my NetGalley percentage from 40% to 80% by the end of the year. I definitely did not do that. It's still not even 50%, but that's really okay. Um, I did, the whole reason I had that goal was because I was trying to uh, get approved for one book in particular, which I did get approved for anyway. So that's pretty good. So I think overall, as long as I'm making sure that I'm reading everything that I get on NetGalley, it really shouldn't be that uh, big of a deal. I'm not going to have that goal this year. And I think my last goal was to end the year with under 100 physical owned books that I have not read yet. Um, I definitely did not do that. I barely made a dent in that, uh, but that's really okay. That's basically my update on those goals for uh, 2021. Um, I really ended up kind of not meeting any of my goals, but that's really okay. My goals for 2022 um, is still reading 120 books. That's my goal every year because it's a 10 book per month average. And the reason I pick that is because it is doable for me, but it is not just easy peasy to get to. It's pretty hard to get to it. Um, so so most years I end up either just barely making it or just barely missing it, something like that. Um, so it's a really good number to stay at for my reading goal. Uh, my goal again is to spend under a hundred dollars on books. So far I have, uh, I did, I am counting a pre-order uh, that I already made, but thus far of course this is the first of the year. I have not spent any other money on books, but I am counting this one pre-order that I did. Um, that was $18. So I've already spent $18 on books for 2000, uh, 2000, 
22. I'm not gonna count that until February when I get that book. Um, but basically, yeah, um, so I guess I already have to watch out for what I'm spending on books. Um, then I plan to read all 12 of the books acquired in 2020 that I still haven't read. Um, that's there's really not that many, so I think I can make it. Um, then to read all 26 books that I still haven't read that I acquired in 2021. Um, that's actually not that bad either. Um, so altogether, that's 38 books. Technically, I could do that in four months if I read only those and no other books that I have and no ebooks, but I don't think that's realistic because I do have plenty of ebooks and stuff that I want to read. So whatever. Um, then uh, my next goal as well is to read all books acquired in 2022. So, so far I have acquired one book in 2022. Uh, and pre-ordered a book that I'm going to get in 2022. And I actually did place an order for two other books in 2022 with a, a, a gift card that I got uh, for Christmas. So um, so basically I am already going to have four uh, books pretty soon here, um, but I think it's totally doable to read all of them. So those are my book related goals for 2022. Um, Thank you so much for watching and let me know if you have any um, goals for 2022 uh, reading related or otherwise. Bye!